<clears throat> subtle introspection, the surrenderer, the one that's saying, I can't surrender, or I've surrendered now, or I need to surrender more, check that. What's that voice? Is that your pure, your pure consciousness saying that? Consciousness doesn't know anything about surrender. It's the individual autonomous identity dressed in this um, virtual reality suit, physical body, mental body, emotional body, senses, instincts, desire, blah, 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 desire to awaken, desire to go chase, sense pleasures, all that, all that. <clears throat> That's the individual, you can say ego. Ego means individual. That's what it means. It doesn't mean like, oh, I'm the best non-dual person. All oh, y'all better just <laughs> recognize. It doesn't mean that. I mean, that's a form of ego. Ego can also be, oh, I'm nothing. I'm nobody. Like, I'm stupid. I'm never going to wake up. <clears throat> that's also ego. It's the individual self that's trying, that thinks it's an individual self. So, therefore, <clears throat> that's part of the game. So, God puts the instinct in that individual self to aspire to know its essence or source, which is pure consciousness. Well, <clears throat> when that instinct to wake up becomes activated, then there's natural, uh, <clears throat> natural talk of surrender. Because you want to surrender this individual autonomous self so that you can, you can, so that the pure consciousness can start to filter through this individual self you see? You see the importance of the individual self? It, it needs to be there so that it can enjoy the fragrance or fruits when the pure consciousness starts to, to come through. But <clears throat> the individual self has to kind of dissolve to a certain degree so that the fragrance can come through. Otherwise, it's like blocked. If I'm all, all I'm thinking about is like, you know, I got to get a girlfriend, I got to get a job and make money and I got to do this and got to do that. And when the mind's real busy like that, there's no space for the pure consciousness to shine through. The pure consciousness is there, obviously. The individual self is housed in it. But we have to, something realizes, our higher intelligence realizes, whoa, I need to, something needs to, surrender this individual self because we've already tasted the pure self people are like how can i get back to this experience i had <clears throat> i felt peace and everything and i was awake for two days or awake for a month or whatever by the way <clears throat> yeah the intensity of, of those experiences change it's not that you just done um something's tasted that so something's realized through evolution, we have to evolve. You can't just tell this stuff to, you know, first lifers or, or very simple village people. They're just going to smile. And, yeah. So my point for saying that is you have to give yourself space to go through this evolutionary journey. I try to, I'm covering a lot of angles as, as I talk, you know. Something has tasted the pure self in the nice peace that comes from that, the balance, and something realizes I have to surrender my individual self in order to taste more of that. But see, that can cause stress. This is why we're talking about surrender the surrenderer. Because the mind will say, I need to surrender this individual self to taste the pure self. And then it'll get involved. <clears throat> and it'll start... If you have a spiritual practice or whatever, prayer, whatever, you start you start pursuing that as though you're pursuing your master's degree in school or something. If I just study hard enough, then I'm going to get it. And then you start, <clears throat> you grade yourself. Oh, I got a B today. I didn't, I only meditated for an hour and my depth, my mind was talking. And then the next day, oh, I got an A. This, this, <laughs> this judgment from the mind causes um, friction. It's kind of um, uh, counterintuitive, but it's necessary. You see, everything's necessary. Why? So that you know you're doing it. We got to do, to to transcend something, we got to do it to see, oh yeah, this isn't serving us. So that one that's saying, I need to surrender, I need to surrender, it's a, it's a, it's a higher level voice for sure. It's better than saying, you know, I need to go rob this person to get money so then I have money and then I can go get girl, whatever. You, uh, there's different degrees of intelligence. 
depending on the religion that you you read they have different words uh, I forget the Sanskrit words but you know you, you have the Buddha mind or the pure mind then you have the the lower level sense driven mind and so this is the, the this thought to surrender is coming from your higher mind but you see the limitation in that after a certain point because you something realizes you know what I'm causing more stress than helping actually that has to come naturally and organic though for one see those who aren't ready for that or aren't close to that happening if they hear those these words they don't want to hear them it messes up their karma or somehow their destiny they're like no I'm full on like what are you talking about I'm this guy can you believe he's saying you don't have to do anything oh another non-dual idiot that's not what I'm saying but that's how they hear it they can't help it I have compassion I know how that works you can only hear, you can hear what you can hear. And if somebody, somebody could be just um, really speaking some high level stuff, automatically, based on your CPU gigabyte storage capacity, you're going to step that down into what you can hear. And you're going to think you're, you're hearing what the person's saying. You didn't, you're, you're hearing what your mind's saying. But you don't know you're hear, hearing what your mind's saying. Because there's no space. There's, you don't know the difference between when something's being um, uh, <clears throat> landing in, in your heart. And, and you're understanding things intuitively versus you're understanding things intellectually. So you're going to think you know something, but you really don't know anything. <clears throat> So this one that really wants to wake up, you got to surrender that. <laughs> but you see how it sounds? You got to surrender that. Who's going to surrender that though? The one that's doing it? The one that really wants to surrender, now it's going to surrender? <laughs> you can't. It can't, you can't expect. It's like expecting a 4 GB, I don't know nothing about computers, but I think you can understand my analogy. It's like expecting a 4 GB hard drive to do what a 6 GB hard drive can do. It can't do it. Well, then how do you surrender the surrenderer? That happens. It happens. Can I just say like that? It just happens. Hearing these kind of things, because you already know this, it kind of, it can awaken this knowledge. So then when that knowledge starts to become more awake via repetition, via grace, via good karma, good healthy lifestyle, everything helps. When that starts to awake more, then it's like it, it, it combusts and goes through the whole being. And then something just lets go. Uh, and you, you may not even know you did it until later. Maybe somebody will point it out. They're like, Man, you were talking about this, how to do this and that, and now all of a sudden it looks like you're doing it. And you're like, oh, well, I think I am. Like you forgot that you're even trying to do it. That's an organic uh, shift. So you just be as conscious as you can. You just, I love introspection. I'm just always checking because I like it. It's not, a, it's not a heavy work. It's not like I'm going to the gym. I just like checking. What else is there to do? Like, where, where, where's this thought? Like, what is that? What's it trying to do? Is there an angle? Am I trying to, is there some subtle motive there? Why did I talk to this person? Why did I give this compliment? Any, anything behind that? It's just fun. And then you start checking yourself. If you're praying or something, God help me, what, what am I going to do? Something, something sees, like, what am I? Prayer's cool, by the way. I was going to make a video on that. Let me know if you want to hear about prayer. <clears throat> like, what am I praying to? Help me help me help who help this individual construct movie okay how can it get help though like it's not entirely real but it feels very real how can it get help ah oh, it needs to surrender oh but it can't it doesn't have the gb to surrender god can you help me surrender what does that mean higher 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 intelligence pure intelligence can you kind of just absorb this lower human self which is cool like it's cool I'm not knocking the human self people that knock the mind in the human self they don't um they don't <laughs> entirely realize what's going on yet 
we need this self to function. But it's like, God, can you just kind of absorb it more? Because it feels like the human self is too much in the foreground. And that's causing um, uh, it, the, the experience I'm having. It's, it's not so good. It's like imbalanced. And there's, you know, I, I want to, something wants to be, because you put it in me, this instinct to be more balanced so that I can, I can taste higher level states. Can you kind of just absorb this more? So that then I can, it can dissolve more so that I can enjoy my existence. Who am I praying to? We're praying to our own deeper self. I'm getting into prayer now. That's just one, one aspect. I mean, one way, one vehicle to um, be more absorbed in your true nature. Meditation, prayer, or japa, or whatever you want to do. But catch out that surrenderer catch that out question it more don't curse it just question it just look at it more and then be aware of what's looking at it can you go any deeper than that you tell me all right see you